Okay, I'll start. Uh, I'm going to talk about Geo in your screen today, and I'll show you how to run analyses within screen. I'll briefly talk about what Geo in your screen is, and then I'll go to components of using screen. I know how many uh, I know many of you are struggling when using Linux terminal uh, again because we don't see much graphics in it. But also when we are trying to work on different things, different tasks at the same time, maybe um, editing two text files together as well as browsing different directories, we have to open many tabs at the same time, uh, and this is difficult and uncomfortable to control. Also. There's a huge amount of anxiety coming from what if the terminal gets closed? What if uh, my internet gets uh, you know, unstable and disconnected from the server? Then we lose all the jobs. Imagine closing the terminal with almost finished free suffer, Reconal, which takes about six hours. Uh, you will not only be angry, but also you will start to hate using the terminal. I think uh, this is when GNU screen can come very handy. It is a shell window manager. It has advantage of, advantages of being able to open many independent sessions and copy and paste between windows and detach and reattach to screens, uh, which I will explain later what, what that is. Uh, and all of this using keyboard only. So it's very efficient if you get used to this. But the concept of screen could be quite confusing for people who are new to the screen uh, because it doesn't have much graphics and appears almost exactly the same as the shell window without the screen. So um, in the following slides, I wish I can help you to start using the screen. So it'd be best if you can follow what I'm showing you. So in your own terminal, in your server, in your RGS server, type screen and press enter. Then you may or may not see the welcome sign and then press enter again, the, then which gives you uh, the plain normal looking terminal okay and inside the screen now you are inside the screen and try typing echo dollar sign sdy in capitals if it returns some text that means you are in a screen session if it doesn't return anything if if it returns empty line then you are not in the screen okay it's okay even if you are not following now um yeah First about the screen escape key. So in terminal, you have to give commands like CD, LS, RM, PWD, you have to give terminal commands. But at the same time, when you are inside a GNU screen, you also have to control the GNU screen with keyboard as well. So before giving GNU screen command, you have to tell the terminal that you'll be using GNU. Okay, you'll be, GN, you be using GNU screen by giving this escape key. So escape key by a default is um, control A. So if you press control A, then it is telling you the key that follows the control A is the GNU screen command rather than just Linux command. So for example, if you do control A and then small C, it will create a new window inside the screen. If you do control A and question mark, then this will uh, pop your help, help um, screen. So control A is telling that something that follows control A is the GNU screen command, okay? Detach and reattach could be uh, something confusing. Um, I think it could be simplified like this. So in a bash shell, you, are, you can create a screen session by just typing screen to it, just you did right now, uh, and then enter. Then this will create a new independent shell in the GNU screen. So you are now in the GNU screen. But um, you will be able to work on, work on the GNU screen bash, bash, the same as the plain command line. So you will not notice a difference. But then you can detach back to the initial terminal uh, by doing Control A and D, Control A telling the terminal that you'll be using GNU command and then D for detach, then you are coming back to the initial terminal. In that process, you're, you, you just leave that, you don't close that, so it is still there. So you are now back in the initial terminal, you are detached from the screen. So since you are detached, um, you are 
you are independent from this screen and you can even close this terminal. Right? And the screen that you opened will still be there untouched. All right? But you don't see them. But in order to, in order to go back to them um, from any terminal, you can do screen minus R, which is for reattach. Then you are back to the terminal bash that you created within the screen again. So you will see the work that you were doing in the GNU screen untouched. Yeah. And what if without the detaching, what if you just close the terminal like here while you're attached? Then this uh, GNU screen gets detached automatically. The terminal closes so you don't see anything, but the work that you were doing it is still there. Everything will be running unless you put the you know, power down of the server or something. All right. I'll see you. I'll show you an example of detach and attach. So I am in the RGS9. Okay. I'll check whether I'm inside a terminal by typing echo dollar sign sty. All right, and then I do screen, okay, enter. There's a help message, and then if I type enter again, it's just, just normal looking shell, okay? I can do ls, I can do pwd, and there's nothing. So in that screen is still there. Let me detach from this by doing control A and then D. I'm back in the initial terminal. Uh, for the sake of the test, uh, let me just close this. And I'll open the new terminal and I'll connect to RGS09 again. And I'll do screen minus R. I'm back to the terminal that I detached. Everything is running here. Okay. Okay, so next is a copy and paste. You can also um, copy and paste in the in the terminal. So let me do something like this. So uh, I want to do ls home directory downloads. I'm seeing what they are, and when I want to copy this, say. Um, I want to copy the name of this. What I normally do is use a mouse to double click them, control, control C, command C, and then command V. That's what you do in, uh, most of the time. But when you are inside the terminal, okay, you can tell, tell the terminal that you'll be using you know, the screen command by control A, and then do ESC. Right, control A and or control A, open brackets. If you see, did you see the copy mode around there? If you saw the copy mode, now you're in the copy mode. With the, with the VI keys like H, J, K, L, G, G, capital G, now you can move around in the terminal with this. Okay, let me do it again. So I'm back in the terminal, like I can do ls, I can do pwd, but I'm going to tell the terminal that I'll be using GNU screen key. So control A, and then I want to go to copy mode by open brackets. See, there's a copy mode, right? Now I can use JK, HL to move around. And then I can select by pressing um, enter at the point where I want to start selection. So enter, so it says um, first mark set. Then I can move around with, with BI keys, okay? E also works in a word, and B also works, W also works, okay? Select the lines that you wanna copy and then press enter to copy them. Copy 32 characters. Now let's paste them, 
So now you are back in the terminal, like you can do all of the all things like PWD, LS, but then you have to tell the terminal that you you'll be using GNU screen key by control A, and you want to paste it, you have to close the uh, brackets. Okay, it just paste the thing that you copied. All right, let's let's try again. So I wanna see something in my downloads. Downloads. I saw something that I want to copy, say this. Then I have to tell the, the terminal that I'll be using GNU screen key by control A, and then open bracket to go to copy mode, move around. I can go to W, W, like this, to Shanghai. I want to start selection by enter. I want to move a word by W and B, W, like this, right? Move around and enter to copy them. Now it's copied. To paste them again, I have to tell the terminal that I'll be using G in your screen key, control A, and then close the bracket. You, you can paste it again. Control A, close bracket. Control A, paste bracket, close bracket. Okay. There are um, other useful functions. It's not only that script can do. You can open many term You can open many terminals inside GNU screen. So let's try creating a new bash shell within the terminal. So let's do. You got you, you know, again. You have to tell the terminal that you'll be using GNU screen key, which was Control A. Then give the key that you want to do. Is this time is a create the C, so Control A, and C. This just opened a new terminal, but the previous terminal is still there, so you can go back to it. So let's try going back. You have to tell the GNU terminal that you'll be using GNU key, uh, Control A, and then P for previous. Still there, right? But you don't see much here, but it's still there. Let's try again. Uh, let's go to next. Uh, and you have to tell the terminal that you'll be using GNU screen key, so control A and then N. Control A and then N. Control A and then N. So um, the escape key is the key here. So you have to press the escape key before giving a GNU screen uh, command line. All right, so P, and then, you know, I'll, I'll wanna create again, C. Now go to different directory for this. And go back to the previous terminal, control A P. I'm still here on the first uh, first windows here, right? Still there. Okay. Another thing, another cool thing that I can do is splitting the window. All right. I want to split the window, so it's a uh, it's quite obvious that I'll be using S. But let's try using capital S, following the control A. So control A, capital S. So that's a weird window created here. So let's move my cursor on top to here. That's um, it's a tab. You move, you can move with get a tab. But again, you have to tell the terminal that you'll be using tab for the GNU terminal screen. So Control A and then tab. Now you're here, but you can't write anything yet because you didn't select any bash uh, window in it. So what was the what was the key for going to the next screen? So control A to tell the terminal there's a GNU screen, and so now you're in a next shell. And again, I can select another window, and I can work on this. Moving around was control A and then tap, back on here, control A and then tap, back here and stuff like this. Let's, co let, let's try copy um, again ls home directory downloads i saw many stuff now i want to select control a open bracket move around i want to select from here to here press enter then it will copy it 50 characters copied i want to move up move up by uh, control a and tap i'm here i want to paste here control a close bracket Okay, you can also split the terminal um, using this bar key. This uh, this bar key. So you have to tell the terminal that you'll be using screen GNU key, control A, 
bulky. And again, move around by Control A and tap. Select on the window. Control A and N. Control A and P. So you can split the screens on as you want to. But it's quite, it looks quite messy now. So you can close the windows except other, uh, except the window that your cursor is in by doing Control A and capital Q. Okay. Right. It takes time to learn this, but just uh, just know that you can detach out of it and then reattach later on. I'll show you an example later um, at the end of the talk as well. But you know, this is you don't see anything, and I don't like how I cannot see which screen and which window I am in. So um, you can do loads of configurations, and also Control A, pressing Control A. You now understand it, but control pressing Control A all the time, but uh, in moving around the windows is I don't like that. So you can um, also save that in your screen RC file. Right. right here. So if you add escape dot dot to your home directory dot screen RC file and then save it and go out of the screen and go in again into the screen, then you'll be telling the terminal that you'll be using G in your screen key, not by control A now, but by using that quotation mark. This way you can work much, much faster. Okay? But just don't worry about that. I have all the configuration ready, ready in the web. So you can type that. Let me do it along with her. So I'm going to type that, wget, capital O, home, and the dot screen rc, and my file is https uh, slash slash raw github user content com kcho learn bin slash master slash screen and slash screen rc. This means Download whatever the file, whatever the text is, into this file. All right, I'm going to do that. Yeah, just download the file. And I want to check whether I'm in, still inside the screen by echo dollar sign sty. This means I'm still inside the screen. I want to get out because I just changed my configuration file and I want to reload them. So I want to exit now. I'm going out of this window and closing this bash. But let me try um, echo sty again. I'm still in the screen because I opened many, you know, many screens. All right, I want to close everything. So let's do exit again. Echo dollar sign sty still in screen. Let's exit. Um, echo dollar sign sty still in screen, exit. Okay, I'm back in the normal bash. Let me try echo, dollar sign, sty. So there comes nothing, I'm not in the screen. So now let's get back into the screen because we just changed our configuration file, screen. I'm gonna type enter. Now uh, there's a, there's a, there should be a line saying that which window you are, let's say here, let me create new shell, which was control A and C. But now since you changed your escape key into back quotation mark, you can create new bash by doing back quotation mark and then C. Let me try again, back quotation mark C, back quotation mark C. Control A, you don't use control A anymore, back quotation. For the escape key. It's much faster. You can move around much faster with this. Uh, you don't have to do control A, which is quite uncomfortable to press. All right. Now, and you are now you'll be able to see which of the bash window that you are in. Okay. There are a few other tips that you can try. So you can change the order of the window. So I will tell that it's a 
ga new screen command by back rotation and i want to change number of this screen into three number space three then the screen moves into the third window i want to kill this selected window back rotation marks to tell the screen that is a gnu key uh, capital k and it asks me to kill this window and type y then it kills it it kills whatever that was running in them and you can do double quotation mark double quotation mark to see stuff to to see all the windows that's opened uh, bash 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 but it's difficult to see them so let's rename them this is what i use loads of time you rename them by um, capital a so press genius screen key capital a and asks for the name uh, what i do is uh, for the one first one i name them as a script go to the second one and capital a tell them as data location okay and for the first for the last one run so i edit a script here look at the data location i run the script okay what I normally do is I um, edit on a script on half the window and on the next window, I run them here. So say I have a script here and I just run like bash, whatever. Okay, I run it like this and then check by, um, I check them by going into the second window um, like this, come back to, to the run and run them again, stuff like this. All right, and so say I was working like this and your internet gets disconnected or you press close by accident. So I just closed it. Let me go back, SSH, RGS09, screen. You can check whether there's a screen opened, LS. There's still the screen, so let's go back into them. Screen minus R, everything is there. Everything is there. So whenever you are trying to start a job on the RGS, uh, try to make a habit of turning the GNU screen before you start any jobs so you, you don't lose anything. I will show you an example of my work. So this is how, how I work. Um, I open loads of screen windows, uh, have different names for each tabs. Uh, I work on scripts on this one and inside them I have NeoVim open so I can move around the tabs as well. Uh, it takes a time to get used to all the keys, but um, even if you don't know all the keys, just if you have a habit of using the screen, you can close the tabs and you can disconnect the internet with confidence. You will not lose the, lose the jobs. Okay, I think you've seen there's a practical at the end. You can try that. And yeah, that's the end of my talk. Thank you.